The Conrad Prebys Center for Chemical Genomics, or the Prebys Center as we call it, is an academic drug discovery center in which we advance really early ideas that people have and try to start the beginning of translational work towards a drug. Our mission really is to, to enable that translational work. There is so much need for new therapeutics for diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. There's new research happening all the time coming from laboratories, both here at Sanford Burnham Prebys, but of course throughout uh, the world. And we will collaborate with anyone who has a passion to do that, to try and help them move beyond the basic research and understanding behind disease to move forward towards a translational initiative. While the Prebys Center is embedded with an academic biomedical research institute, we nevertheless have the tools and technologies more akin to a biotechnology company. And that is why people from throughout the United States engage us to see whether we could work together towards a translational initiative, starting to figure out how to come up with that drug. At the Prebys Center, we've heavily invested in bringing the latest computational chemistry advances so that we can use those advances. That includes conformational modeling, um, docking, virtual screening, and also the implementation of virtual reality to bring those molecules right up to our face so that we can see how they interact with the protein and find the optimal changes that we can make to the molecules that, that give them this improved potency or improved pharmacokinetics in animals. For about 10 years now, I've had a very active collaboration with Professor Ruben Shaw at the Salk Institute and we've jointly uh, discovered and been developing a uh, novel drug to treat cancer. Currently the drug is uh, in preclinical IND enabling studies and we're working with a lo local biotech company to move the drug into clinical studies. It is an incredible asset to have uh, the, both the technology and the expertise at our fingertips to do drug discovery from the very early stages and then through to preclinical proof of concept. In the case of our ALK inhibitor cancer therapeutic, we were able to take advantage of the advanced robotics and instrumentation in the Probe Center to advance something much more quickly into patients. My lab here at the Prebys Center is focused on leveraging what's known as human-induced pluripotent stem cells in the drug discovery process. There are a number of reasons why this approach is so powerful. These cells are immensely scalable, as opposed to cells that are typically used for drug discovery that are transformed or cancerous. These are normal human cells. They can be differentiated into many different uh, disease-relevant cell types, such as cardiomyocytes and neurons. Moreover, then you can take these cells uh, and format them uh, in what's known as an, an organoid, uh, which very much reflects uh, normal human biology in, in multiple respects, both phenotypically and functionally. So we took uh, induced pluripotent stem cells from a patient with a genetic form of Alzheimer's. We produced neurons, and then we looked for drugs that reduce the hyperphosphorylation of a protein on these neurons as a treatment for Alzheimer's disease. Human genetics are really complex. There's no other models that you can use for looking at it. And so that's what excites me about using this technology. Partnering is at the very heart of the Prebys Center. Right from the beginning of its inception, nearly well, more, more than 10 years ago, it was a national resource for partnering with academia to advance translational initiatives. Uh, since that time, we have picked up some very significant relationships, in particular, one with the Mayo Clinic, which has been going nearly 10 years, in which uh, we work with their clinician scientists to initially generate data that shows the path that should be taken, to apply for grants together. And in fact, we've had significant success uh, in applying for grants to the NIH, uh, with over 20 awarded grants with the Mayo Clinic alone. In the Prebys Center, we don't just have the latest and greatest equipment. Of course, we have great people. People have the experience. They've come from all sorts of backgrounds, actually from training in pharmaceutical companies, biotechnology companies, people who join us from their postgraduate, postdoctoral work, from all over the world. And of course, from San Diego's vibrant biotechnology and biomedical research community. I think the future is, is tremendous in terms of the opportunity if you actually look at where we stand to have opportunity, it is in the development of first-in-class therapeutics that have transformational effects in the clinic. 
There is a long list of diseases where we just wish we had compounds, injectables, new products that would turn them from being deadly and heavily debilitating into something that is managed and people can have a much higher quality of life.